my dream. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be afraid, for I am your God. I will give you strength, and for sure I will help you. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. I dream a lot sometimes. Usually, I do not remember what I have dreamt. A few times, I have had a dream that moves me and even one that redirected my life. Recently, I awoke from a dream of which I remember only the following. I was holding a small child's hand. Another adult held his other hand. I could not see their faces or who they were, and they didn't talk. We were leaving a house. As we opened a door, I saw what appeared to be a dark angel with a gold head looking down on us with a foreboding expression. I told those with me not to look up, but to move on forward and hold tightly to each other's hands. As we moved on, I felt the child's hand start to slip from mine. After reminding him to hold on, I prayed and asked God to keep us strong. As I continued praying, the child's hand tightened its grip and we move on. I awoke from my dream at this point. I reflected on what I had dreamt and thought of how our leaving the house in my dream could represent our going out into the world every day with all the enemies, temptations, and distractions to keep our minds from Christ. I believe that holding the child's hand represented our loved ones, those we want to see in the kingdom one day. The advice not to look up at the evil angel could mean keeping our eyes on God and pushing through by not allowing destruction to keep us from Him. My prayer in my dream was for God to give us strength to hold on because we cannot do this on our own. I believe in the power of prayer and have, for several years, been part of a weekly prayer group. This group of seven started because of our mutual concern for loved ones and the belief that Jesus will return soon. We wanted His protection for them, His guidance, His drawing their hearts to Himself, His help in difficulty, and yes, the strength to follow Him. My dream touched me deeply. I hope my sharing it will touch you, the listener, too. Prayer is the key to experiencing peace, for we know that God cares more about our loved ones than we do, and that He has answers for everything that burdens us. He loves us and will give us the strength we need as we go through life, no matter what comes our way. Sue Anderson. I would love to hear from you. Comment down below your thoughts about this devotion.